All right, the, um, the next part of the setup is a very, very important setting that you have to make. When you receive the boat, um, it is programmed with what's called a signal fail-safe, meaning that if the signal is lost for a period of, say, 20 seconds, then the boat will turn around and it will, it will sail itself back to the launch point. Uh, during normal operation, signal may disappear as the boat goes behind a wave, but typically you would always regain signal within a couple of seconds. However, if the surf was, say, very high and you could get no elevation, you could not stand at a higher point um, to be able to reach the boat, and, you, and that may be one of the reasons why you use this app, is to be able to set up a mission uh, or a bait drop where you didn't have to worry about being able to reach the boat with the remote. Um, it could happen that the boat could sail out of radio range in big surf, uh, in, say, a couple of hundred meters, and you might have wanted to go 400 meters. Now, if the signal were lost, as I said, within 20 seconds, it would turn around, turn around and come back. That would be a bit of a disaster if the bait was still attached. So you would want to extend the fail-safe time. This is a very important setting. Um, and to give you a reasonable time would be, say, 300 seconds. That's, it's a long time. It's five minutes, but it would allow you to complete the mission. So to be able to make that, that change, you need to select the icon top left hand corner, then click on the gears, which is the second icon, then scroll down till you see parameters, click on parameters, then scroll down on the next drop down window until you see FS, which is fail safe, click on that. And if you look on the right, we'll, what we're looking for is the fail safe timeout. Currently set, if you see that's the last item, Fail safe timeout set for 20 seconds. So click on that. Okay, there we go. Click on that and change that to 300 seconds. Click on done. Now um, on the top right hand corner it says save. Click save. Now this will tell you that this timeout period is, 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 is much longer than is normally used. But it's what we need to do. Uh, it's, it's, it's safer to have to have a longer period so the mission can be completed in time. So then you say forced save, click on that, and then push save, top right hand corner, and it's now saved. If you look at the bottom item, uh, fail save timeout is now 300 seconds, and that is all correct. So that's, an, that's, an, that's a very important uh, parameter change that you have to make when using this app.